What would you click on? Fall tiki? Fall inspired tiki drinks? Autumn? Autumnal tiki? Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today, we are going to be making four fall tiki drinks. Tropical drinks. These are fun, festive, uh, these kind of drinks. If that, you see this shirt I'm wearing? So, uh, I've got a nice little list here for us all. As you can see, I have very strategically matched my black hat to my black tropical shirt. So you can too, if you get this hat. Although you won't have the shirt. You're on your own for that. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and let's go have some fun. Let's make four fall tiki drinks to the bar. Today's video is sponsored by Visky. Visky makes quality barware and glassware for behind your bar. In fact, they make pretty much everything you can think of that goes behind your bar, except for the booze. Glassware, bar tools, wine tools, ice molds, cocktail smokers, you name it. What I like about Visky is they consult with professional bartenders to create their products. So you know that the products are not only nice to look at, but they are functional. Don't waste your time on cheap barware. Today, I am here to talk about this glass right here in front of me holding my delicious whiskey. This is called the Revolve Lowball. And I am here to tell you this is not your grandma's lowball glass. This glass is cut crystal, lead free, dishwasher safe, it's 10 ounces, all that good stuff, but it has a secret feature, a nub on the bottom. You just set the glass down, get it going, and it spins effortlessly. So you can aerate your whiskey, you can swirl. Maybe you are a fidgeter. Sometimes I tend to be a fidgeter, like when I'm nervous doing a sponsorship. People are gonna be envious of your glass. People might get jealous. People might get mad. But I understand if this is not your jam. In that case, check out all of the other lowballs. None of them spin like this glass. Use my link down below and use the code Anders15 to receive 15% off site-wide. If you don't want this one and you want this one, 15% off. If you want this bar spoon, 15% off. I think you get the idea. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Visky. Onto the film. All right, number one, the port light. This is a classic tiki drink that's been around for a long time, since the tiki era. Now, the thing about this drink is it is a whiskey-based drink, bourbon to be specific. Sometimes people add egg white, sometimes people add honey syrup. I think some people will serve this up too. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Personally, I like it very straightforward, simple. So to make my version of the port light in a shaking tin, start with two ounces of bourbon. I would recommend a higher proof bourbon because we are gonna be adding a good amount of sugar and citrus and it holds up to the dilution of the crushed ice. To that, add half an ounce of passion fruit syrup, half an ounce of grenadine. I would recommend homemade here. You want a nice tart grenadine and then one ounce of fresh lemon juice. Add a little bit of crushed ice, give that a shake. Open pour, traditional. Additionally, I believe this would be served in a red glass because that's the color of a port light from the port side of the boat. This is the port side of the boat. I don't have a red glass, so I'm using this nice zombie glass. Bit more crushed ice, I, and I'm making a mess, I'm getting ice everywhere. Garnish this with a couple pineapple fronds and a nice umbrella. I'm gonna use a red umbrella because this was supposed to be a red glass. That's it, the port light. Port light, please, coming in from my port side. Thanks. Cheers. Mm. I know I'm smacking my lips. Oz will probably take that out in editing, but this one, it's tart and it's sweet and you get this rich bourbon underneath it all, which makes it yummy. I added a lot of ice here and it's fine. The dilution in this is, is gonna be okay. Makes me pucker up. Yeah, it seems like a good amount of sugar, doesn't it? It's a lot, a lot, of, lot of syrup. A lot of citrus, but there's a lot of dilution, so that's good. I can still taste all the components. The grenadine, the passion fruit, the bourbon, and the lemon. That's it. So, let's move on to the next one. Number two is the Angostura Colada. This drink is not a classic tiki drink. It's spicy, it's bold in flavor, it's sweet, and then it dries out and it finishes bitter. If you like a Trinidad Sour, then you are going to also like the Angostura Colada. In fact, I do believe that when this was created about 10 years ago by Zach Overman, he used the Trinidad Sour as inspiration for this drink. You're gonna need a hefty amount of Angostura bitters. If you have a large bottle, that will be helpful. If you need a large bottle, you can pick one up 
at Kiriata. It's right there in my collection. Link in description down below. So to make the Angostura Colada, start in a shaking tin with an ounce and a half of Angostura bitters. So take off that little stopper top and pour yourself in a jigger an ounce and a half of Angostura bitters. Do not forget to put that little stopper top back on. To that, we're gonna add half an ounce of an overproof Jamaican rum, such as Smith & Cross. It's going to hold up to all of that Angostura bitters. It's kind of crazy, but we're using a really strong flavored spirit as an accent against something you normally would use dashes. It's a very fascinating cocktail. To that, add two ounces of fresh pineapple juice. If you don't have fresh, you can use canned, but I would recommend fresh. Now we can add an ounce and a half of cream of coconut. I'm using a homemade recipe. Coco Lopez would be my go-to if you're gonna go the store-bought route. And then one ounce of fresh lime juice. I've tried this drink with different ratios and this is the original ratios and it is the best. Give that a shake with some crushed ice, open pour into a chilled snifter. For garnish, we're gonna add some pineapple fronds, a couple slices of pineapple. You could also do a slice of orange. That's really common in this drink. And then a heavy dusting of grated nutmeg. The Angostura Colada. Cheers. Very yummy, very spicy, very clovey, but then you get the sweetness from the pineapple and the coconut. It's very, very similar to the Trinidad Sour. Yeah, and you do get a little bit of that rum. Let's keep things rolling. On to number three, three. Number three, the Mundo Perdido. This translates to Lost World and it has nothing to do with Jurassic Park. This recipe comes directly out of the book Smuggler's Cove by Martin Kate and Rebecca Kate. But what's interesting about this drink is that it was created by Beach Bum Berry for Smuggler's Cove in San Francisco. We don't need to get into it. It's a really nice drink that is served up, which is not all that common in the tiki world. Now I have served this one on crushed ice. In fact, a number of times I've served it on crushed ice. It's very good, but I would say we are gonna wanna up the sugar if we go that route. Today, I'm serving it up as it's intended, so we are going to use the same recipe that is presented in this fine book. To make the Mundo Perdido in a shaking tin, start with one and a half ounces of dark rum. I'm using a dark Demerara rum. To that, add half an ounce of apple whiskey. I'm using straight apple whiskey. You could use Applejack, you could use Calvados. Then we'll add quarter of an ounce of a rich Demerara syrup, quarter of an ounce of a cinnamon syrup, and three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Give that a shake with regular cubes, about 10 to 15 seconds or so. Double strain into a chilled coupe, and for garnish, I'm going to give it three little apple slices. However, in the book, they don't even mention garnish at all, but I like how it looks. So we're gonna do apple slices. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Cheers. Mm, now that is a good one for autumn because I can taste the apple, I can taste the cinnamon. It's got a brightness. You get the nice rich rum, so it fits in with the tiki world. It's a nice fall cocktail. In fact, this was one of my fall cocktails that I would resort to when I was making drinks behind a professional bar on the regular. People would say, I want something for fall. Mundo Perdido. Everybody's happy. And it's just a half ounce of that apple whiskey, but it's enough. And then I'm looking at an apple, so I think apple. Maybe that helps too. All right, so finally, the fourth and final cocktail for this afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this, is an original of mine I call the Speak No Evil. Now, in the past, we've done the See No Evil, which is a mezcal-based tiki drink that I came up with. This one also has mezcal, but it also has tequila. In a shaking tin, start with an ounce and a half of a Reposado tequila. To that, add half an ounce of mezcal, quarter ounce allspice liqueur, three quarters of an ounce of guava syrup. I made this myself using guava puree. I'll put a recipe in the description down below. One ounce of fresh lemon juice. Finally, two dashes of Angostura bitters, four if you are using a small dasher bottle like I am. Give that a quick shake with some crushed ice to incorporate everything, and then open pour into a chilled Collins glass. And for garnish, we are going to add one orange wheel, top it off with a little bit more crushed ice if you need to, grated cinnamon across the top, and a cherry. If you have a skull pick, this is the time to use it. Drop in a straw, and we have the Speak No Evil. That just looks like fall. It's a good color. Whoever came up with this one is a genius. Oh no, I lost my cherry. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Let me tell you what I like about this drink. I like the smoky mezcal but I also like that it's cut with tequila. So you get kind of this margarita-esque agave base with a little smoke, and then you've got the sweet guava 
a little bit of that cinnamon spice, and the brightness from the lemon. There we have it. Give these a shot. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you tried them, what your go-to fall tiki drinks are, because there's a lot of them. Not really, but, but there are uh, a lot of tiki drinks with spices in them, so they work in the fall. Ugh. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Visky, for sponsoring today's film. Don't forget your merch. Don't forget to sign up for the newsletter. Links in description below. I will see you next time. Goodbye.